This is Hannah's Moore. So I have a special guest with me today. Say hi, Poopa. Say hi. It's 10 months now. She's a little over 10 months. As you can see, her hair is getting a lot. I say bigger or longer um, and we just washed it so I'm trying to hurry up and record this video so that I can moisturize it before it shrinks um, how her back looks so yeah she has a lot of hair and as it as the hair dries her hair gets dry so um I'm just going to show you guys how I moisturize her hair. I do wash her hair with the Johnson & Johnson's conditioning shampoo and I add extra um, grapeseed oil to it. But I, um, once her hair is washed, I moisturize it with my Everything Butter. A lot of you guys have been asking about my Whip Shea Butter. I've actually taken um, that video down and I've actually changed the formula of my Whip Butter um, because I recently started selling it on Etsy.com. So I'll leave the link below. Um, but this is just a Whip Shea Butter mixture that I use to moisturize her hair. And I'll show you guys how I moisturize her hair. Now, with baby's hair, you want to keep it very, very moisturized. I talked about this in my previous video, especially because they kind of put their hair against almost anything. So, the moisture will help with the hair breaking off from that friction. So, usually what I usually do is wash her hair at night and braid it right before she's going to bed. But, um... I'll just show you guys how I moisturize it before I braid it. So, it's really, really simple. I just divide her hair in sections. I like to use these clips whenever I'm, like, dividing her hair. They're just plastic clips. And the reason why I like to use these is because I know they're safe. So, if by any chance she pulls it out and puts it in her mouth, I don't have to worry about her poking out an eye or anything like that. So as you can see, the older she gets, the easier it is for me to do her hair because she's really starting to get used to it. Hey. Yeah, boo-boo. Say, I'm getting used to mommy doing my hair. She's starting to get used to it. And like I said in my previous video, this is a bonding experience for us. So I'm just adding some of the butter. And I go ahead and I just moisturize her hair. And since I know I'll be um, braiding it later tonight, I just want to moisturize her hair. Otherwise, if I, if I let it air dry without it be moisturized, it's going to be shrunken, it's going to be dry, and it's going to be so painful for her. So once I do that, I kind of also like to use this mix that I made. And this mix consists of water, glycerin, and coconut oil. So... It kind of, as you can see, it always separates. So before I use it, I have to get a, give it a really good shake. And, and I'll just do this. I really like glycerin in her hair. Her hair tastes glycerin really, really well. Glycerin is a, a natural humectant. So basically what that means is it gets the moisture from her hair and keeps it moisturized. So as you can see, as I start moisturizing it, her hair starts to unshrinking, you can say. So next, I'm taking her brush. I purchased this brush from the do dollar section in Target. And I just like to work that from the ends on up. I don't like for anything to be painful for her. So I'm very, very gentle with her hair. And if it's difficult for you to do your daughter's hair while she's, or your son. Some people have some with, sons with very beautiful hair. If it's hard for you to do your, your baby's hair while they are up, I recommend you doing this while they're sleeping um, or while they're falling asleep just so they can get used to you doing their hair because some babies are more fussier than others and also have some toys around because that really helps and I'm just twisting her hair kind of get to the ends of the twist what I like to do is take it and I take some more of my butter because I want to lock that moisture into the ends of her hair I take the butter and I just take my finger mm -hmm. and I twirl it around the ends. That's going to keep the moisture locked into her hair. Done moisturizing her hair. 
So I want to show you guys what the back of her hair looks like because the back of her hair is a totally different texture than the top of her hair. And as you can see, like back hair is just like really, really straight back hair. Like her texture is different. It's more straight. And then some parts are just more kinkier. So I just take my time and just work it in back there. The thing that I do want to say is that um, for some people, like I've noticed that they put scarves and bonnets on their baby's hair. I do not recommend that at all. I believe that is a huge safety hazard. Um, so you don't want to put any scarves or anything in her their hair. I recently started covering her hair up at night and it does allow me to, it does allow her braids and stuff to last longer. This is what I've started using at night. Now, this only works for me when she, while she, to put it on her head while she is sleeping. If she's up, she's just going to yank this thing off. But basically, all this is is a wig cap. It does not slide off of her hair. <laughs> she's not going to let me keep this on. But I'll, I, I just want to show you guys what it looks like on her head. It's a wig cap and at night when she, right when I put her in her crib and she's sound asleep I'll put it off. I put it on and by the morning yes that's exactly what happens. It is breathable so I'm not worried about that and I know it's not gonna it has not once slipped off her head while she's been sleeping so I definitely recommend wig caps for your baby um, and this is definitely gonna help like with the edges and with the back of her hair from breaking off and if you do keep your baby's hair braided the braids will last so much longer hey guys so I just got finished doing her hair and um, she woke up midway of me doing her hair I I did when she was um, sleeping and this is the side that I did when she was awake. Big difference. That's why I say it's better for you to do the baby's hair when they are um, sleeping. Um, but it's just a little faux hot because she's braids on the side. that's pretty much it um hopefully these will last me a week i may do this side over just because this side looks so neat and this side looks a little bit more messy but they'll last me a week and when she sleeps tonight i'll just put the wig cap on to preserve it um and as you can see she's sleeping because it's way past her bedtime um yeah so if you guys have any questions feel free to ask and thanks for watching say bye